Whenever my digestive system needs a little bit of a reset during the summer months, this is the soup that I make. It's really simple and comes together quickly. Kind of the most labor intensive part is just chopping all the vegetables. This is me getting to work on some carrots. I'm breaking them down into planks, logs, and cubes, which is a great technique for making sure that all of your chopping goes much faster than usual. You can see I'm assembly lying all of my vegetables right on through. And as soon as I'm done with the carrots, I'm gonna get my bell peppers going. I always think that in this recipe, the more colors, the better. It's a good sign of antioxidants and so having that variety means you're going to get a lot of different nutrients. A lot of IBS folks are low FODMAP and bell peppers and carrots are both go-to vegetables on that diet as are some small quantities of zucchini and summer squash. So we are using all of those in this recipe to give your gut a little bit of break and for that same reason there are no garlic or onions. Though of course you can add them if you like. Here's another closer look at that plank log cube technique. Planks are great for on the grill. Logs are what you'd use for crudite or a matchstick, and then the cubes are, you know, the same as a chop or dice in a recipe. If you want to save time and you don't care what your final outcome looks like, you can always pop all of these things in a food processor and pulse but them. I like the look at the finished product of having these gorgeous little cubes in my bowl. To build flavor, we're going to start by sauteing our carrots and bell peppers until they are really nicely caramelized. This will take a while, so about eight to 10 minutes. Then adding the summer squash, the zucchini and the yellow squash and our spices. I like turmeric because it adds a lot of anti-inflammatory support and then paprika for flavor. Whenever you're using spices, you always wanna make sure they toast at the bottom of the pan, which is why I'm adding them before the liquid. So we're gonna stir it all up with the squash mixture and make sure these start to sweat out together. Once your veggies are soft and the spices have started to caramelize on the bottom of the pan, then you can add more liquid and scrape up any brown bits that may have formed. I'm gonna add some coconut cream, but if you're sensitive, you can always omit this. And then a lot of really good quality broth. This recipe is dairy-free and can easily be made vegan if you use vegetable broth. And of course, if you're low FODMAP, you wanna make sure that you're using a low FODMAP option. Now, since these are summer vegetables and fairly quick cooking, this part's gonna go much faster than normal soup, which usually simmers for hours. This is gonna be done in just five to 10 minutes. Really, you just want the squash to be nice and soft. Next, we're gonna add green scallions and lots of cilantro. And then this is the trick. We are going to puree half of the soup using an immersion blender, or you can transfer some of it to a blender. And this is gonna create even more body and creaminess without having to add lots more coconut milk or heavy cream. And there you have it, a super nourishing summer detox soups for when all of the heavy winter fare won't cut it, but your gut needs something that's a little bit easier to digest. Full recipe on feedmephoebe.com.